What is a landing page and why do you need one? Hi, my name is Vaidatas and in this video I'm going to answer those questions, so keep watching. Simply put, a landing page is a web page specifically designed to generate leads and increase conversion rates. It's the first page visitors land on after clicking on ads, YouTube videos, Facebook posts, and so on. But is it the same as a homepage? The answer is no. A homepage serves as a hub for other pages. It contains a navigational menu for visitors to explore so that they spend more time on the site. On the other hand, an optimized landing page will have fewer links. And instead of a navigational menu, it usually has a form or a call to action. Landing pages focus on getting leads through a specific action. For example, subscribing to a newsletter, signing up for a free trial, or purchasing a product. Often, the goal is to get visitors to submit their contact information in exchange for an offer, which can be an exclusive content, a special discount, and so on. This information will help the business develop marketing tactics and turn these leads into customers. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial for creating a landing page, check out our video over here. Now, let's talk about what a good landing page consists of, and after that, we'll look at an example and see why it works. The site design is the first element that shapes the visitor's perception of your brand. Using the right visuals can help persuade visitors to complete the intended action on the page. Whether you add images or videos, they should explain what the visitors will achieve by completing the action. A good tip is to include visuals that evoke emotions. Adding human faces, for example, is a great way to engage visitors and establish trust. Likewise, an effective design streamlines the user experience. Not every visitor is going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, so make sure to place the forms and call to actions above the fold, which is the upper part of the page. Using bright, contrasting colors can also help guide the visitor's eyes to the call to action. Most importantly, keep the design simple, visually appealing, and consistent with your branding. A good landing page should focus on one specific goal. This is because multiple offers on a single page can overwhelm visitors. If your main goal is to grow your email subscribers, tailor your landing page to capture their addresses. A great way of doing that is offering a free downloadable, like an ebook or a coupon code in exchange for their emails. Create separate landing pages for different offers. That way you can optimize each landing page to increase conversion rates. Next, a good landing page displays a convincing value proposition, stating why visitors should take up on the offer. It answers questions like, what is the brand's advantage among competitors? What could visitors achieve from completing the action? Make sure to highlight the brand's features and explain their benefits. If you can convey a solution to visitors' problems, the more likely you can convince them to complete the action. Remember to keep it direct, engaging, and brief. As a rule of thumb, six to eight words is the ideal length to communicate your value proposition. Including social proof is a great way to back up your value proposition and build credibility, increasing the likelihood of customers purchasing a product or service. This is why a high converting landing page typically includes a visual form of social proof. For example, direct quotes from customers, number of products sold, case studies, or ratings from online review sites like Trustpilot. Last but not least, a strong call to action wraps up all the unique selling points and provides visitors a clear next step on how to engage with your brand. So, what makes a strong call to action? A strong call to action is clear and persuasive. It uses actionable phrases that provoke emotions and create a sense of urgency. For example, start the free trial or get a free ebook now. Consequently, avoid phrases that are too bland like submit or click here. It doesn't sound very natural and can decrease conversion rates. Now, let's take a look at a good landing page example from Airbnb. Airbnb has a minimalist landing page design. Along with a clear headline, it displays an eye-catching call to action that immediately informs visitors what action they're expected to take. Clicking on the call to action will trigger a pop-up form where visitors can enter their contact information and create an account. To persuade them to do so, Airbnb uses a few different tactics. 
it displays a hero image of a successful customer as the visual focus. That way, they build trust with the customers and establish social proof at the same time. Throughout the page, Airbnb also explains its features and benefits, such as hosting protection and the opportunity to ask questions to a super host. Another interesting point about Airbnb's landing page is it provides personalization. Here you can enter your details to learn how much you can earn based on your location and house size. This is incredibly useful for prospective hosts who may still be estimating how much to charge and how much money they can expect to make. All in all, Airbnb's landing page conveys its message effectively, reassures visitors it is safe to use, and offers a personalized experience. To recap, the purpose of a landing page is to optimize lead generation. As we discussed, a good landing page has an effective design, a clear conversion goal, provides value proposition, and social proof. And of course, displays a strong call to action. Have you stumbled upon a landing page that caught your eye? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.